The measure tool is our measuring tape for lengths and angles in our scene. Once we've selected it in the toolbar, we need to left click to mark the starting point of a measurement, and then drag and release to mark the finish point. Blender will then draw a dashed line between the two points and specify the distance measured. The distance will be given in whatever measurement units we have set up. The default is meters. If we are measuring the size of an existing object, we can hold down the control key to switch on snapping. We can then snap to a vertex, edge, edge center, or face. As the mouse pointer passes over these elements, we'll see a different symbol for each. When the pointer is over a vertex, a square symbol appears. An edge shows as a sand timer shape and the center of an edge is indicated by a triangle. Anywhere on a face shows as a circle. Using snapping gives us an accurate measurement when dealing with objects. It can also be used to give us the distance between objects. If we begin dragging and then press the shift key, Blender will create a measurement to the next face it encounters. This is useful for getting the exact dimensions of objects where the faces at the start and end of the measure line are parallel to each other. If a measurement created in this way is not measuring the dimension you want, keep the shift button pressed and drag it onto a new face. This makes it switch to measuring a different dimension. Notice that when several measure lines exist, the last one to be drawn is brighter than the others. We may think of this as the active measure line. Clicking on one end of an existing line makes it the active line. Drag on one end of an existing measurement line to move it to a new location. Pressing X or the delete key, deletes the active line. Drag anywhere within a line and it will fold, displaying the angle created. To remove the angle and return to a straight line, Click on the point of the angle and press X or delete. The lines created can sometimes be difficult to see. To solve this problem, we can display the sidebar by pressing N and, on the view page, expand the annotations heading. We'll see that the measure tool has added its own entry in the list of layers. This new layer, named Ruler Data 3D is initially invisible. Switching it to be visible creates a solid line behind every existing measurement. The line can be made thicker by adjusting the thickness setting. We can also change the color and opacity if necessary. If we delete this entry in the table, the background lines are deleted but the measurement lines remain. However, all we need to do is switch to another tool, then, when we return to the measure tool, all the measurement lines will be gone. When we create more measurement lines, Blender will replace the Ruler Data 3D layer in the Annotations table. One word of warning. The measure lines aren't always in the position you think they are when drawing without snapping. This line may look like it measures between two corners of the cube, but when we look at it from a different viewpoint, we see the line's real position. <laughs>